Full forest as carbon sinks and a source of other environmental surfaces must not be disregarded. We emphatically endorse the inclusion of intact forests and the enhancement of carbon reservoirs in a future reckless regime as part of the Copenhagen outcome of any post Kyoto arrangement. It is imperative that countries with a high forest cover and a low deforestation rate, so-called ESLD countries, be provided with incentives to continue to maintain their forests. Mr. President, in spite of the conspicuous role of forests play in relation to global climate change, Suriname is one of the most vulnerable countries as far as the impact of climate change are concerned. Suriname is a low-lying coastal state which is highly susceptible to the effect of climate change. The World Bank conducted a comparative study on the impact of sea level rise on developing countries. Suriname has been ranked as the most vulnerable country in Latin America and the Caribbean. The study concluded that with a sea level rise of one meter, our socio-economic development will be severely impacted because 70% of our population and our most fertile agricultural lands lie in this low coastal zone. And this did not even take into account the loss of important and unique ecosystems in the coastal zone of Suriname. The vulnerability of our low-lying coastal zone has made it urgent for my government to formulate our climate action plan in which the areas identified for adaptation and mitigation measures include almost all sectors of our economy. Moreover, my country recently launched our Suriname Green Fission and Strategy, which will be the basis for our long-term of global climate change and gradual adaptation of ecosystems with due respect for the traditional current and future role of women, farmers, young people, and of indigenous tribal and forest dependent communities. Mr. President, it is important to emphasize at this juncture that at predictable and sustainable financial and technical resources, the strengthening of institutional capacity and the transfer of environmentally sound technology need to be given high priority to support actions regarding adaptation and mitigation in developing countries. Developed countries and multilateral partners have a particular role to fulfill in this regard. In my view, we must adhere to the principle of common but differentiated responsibilities. These are the considerations which inspired Suriname to participate in various regional and international fora, among others, those which resulted in the Manaus Declaration on Climate Change, the Lenin Dal Declaration on Climate Change and Development, and the Declaration on Climate Change of the Alliance of Small Island States. Suriname remains committed to collaborating more intensively in South-South cooperation as well as in North-South cooperation to complement national, regional, and international efforts to combat the adverse impact of climate change. Mr. President, we now stand at the crossroads in search of robust and sustainable solutions which will ensure the very existence of humankind. Suriname therefore appeals to all to continue working towards an internationally legally binding instrument that builds upon 
which and preserves the integrity of the Kyoto Protocol, the Bali Action Plan, and the United Nations Framework Convention on Climate Change. One that addresses climate change impact with the urgency and comprehensiveness that are consistent with the scale and seriousness of the threat that we are facing. I thank you, Mr. President. Thank you very much. Uh, on behalf of the conference, I would like to thank His Excellency for his very important statement. Uh, this distinguished delegate brings us to the end of our meeting this afternoon, and it's my pleasure to invite the Secretariat uh, to make further announcements. We thank you very much for your kind attention. Thank you, Mr. President. I would like to make an organizational announcement about the way uh, that meetings will be going forward at this point. We need to make a pause in the uh, statement at this point. First, we thought that many participants might like to grab a quick lunch before we continue. But more importantly, for security reasons, we need to ask everyone to leave the room to allow a, a proper security check and the uh, meeting